What is up guys? Welcome back for another very special episode. Today we're going to be making Big Mac secret sauce and unlock Ronald McDonald's box of mystery to reveal his best kept secret. Stay around, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So guys, you might be wondering what makes the perfect burger every time. So we have three simple ingredients, the bun, the meat and the sauce. Today is all about the sauce. We're going to recreate our own Big Macs at home, but we're going to call them the Big Jack. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy and I hope you can recreate your own Big Macs at home. See you on the other side. So guys, like I said, one of the three important ingredients to a perfect burger is the buns. Now I'm creating a sweet brioche style bun and I'll leave the recipe in the description below. I'll be making a video tutorial of these buns so keep your eyes peeled. As discussed, our most important ingredient, the secret sauce. Our secret sauce is made on a base of QP mayonnaise, which is what we're going to make right now. To make our mayonnaise, we need two fresh egg yolks. 15 grams of caster sugar or 1 teaspoon, 25 ml or 2 teaspoons of rice vinegar or lemon juice. And for the umami bomb, a quarter teaspoon of anchovy paste. Then we're going to add 15 grams or 1 teaspoon of English mustard and mix that together. When creating emulsions, I like to use a clean tea towel inside a saucepan to keep my bowl steady, as my other hand is busy pouring in the oil. To add our oil, start with a teaspoon at a time and whisk vigorously. Continue adding one teaspoon until the emulsion is created. In this recipe, I use 450 ml of rapeseed oil. I chose rapeseed oil because it has a high omega-3 content and is a lot healthier than other saturated oils. As I'm doing this by hand, when the oil is added, I like to take it out and give it a really good whisk. This will put as much air as possible into the mixture and give us that nice mayonnaise texture. Make sure to check the seasoning and we can continue with the rest of our prep. The first ingredient for our secret sauce is one large pickled gherkin. We wanna dice this up as fine as we can get it. Make sure the size is consistent. The next ingredient for our secret sauce is half of one red onion. Try and get the consistency and size same as your gherkin. The next ingredient for our secret sauce is finely chopped parsley. I like to save the stalks for our stock in the freezer. I'm using a rolling method where I roll all the leaves together to get the chop as fine as possible. Now it's time to incorporate the ingredients for the secret sauce. So in there, we're gonna add 250 ml of our QP mayonnaise, 125 ml of American mustard. Today I'm using Frenchies, 125 of tomato ketchup, a generous pinch of freshly cracked black pepper, and one generous teaspoon of sweet smoked paprika. Now it's time to add our veg. In goes half our finely chopped red onion, our finely chopped large gherkin, and a handful or 25 grams of finely chopped parsley. Now it's time to mix all the ingredients together. I'm using a spatula, you can use a whisk, but make sure it's nice and consistently smooth. Now guys, hold on to your pants because it's time for the taste test. Get ready for the explosion of Big Mac flavor in one bite. I hope you enjoy. At this time, it's a good time to add any salt if it needs any extra kick. As you can see, it's important to have all the ingredients chopped to the same size to get that nice consistency. Now it's time to prepare our burgers. To our burger meat, we're gonna add half a finely diced white onion. Over a medium heat, you want to add two tablespoons, a generous portion of cooking oil, and cook the onions until they're translucent. If they get a little bit of color, it's not dire straits. We're going to use 100 grams of beef per patty. So we're doing four patties today, so I have 400 grams of beef. Make sure you add salt, and then we can add our sauteed onion. Next, we can add some finely cracked black pepper. This is preference. If you don't like pepper, then you don't have to add it. Now, to 
give our burgers the next level edge, I like to add a teaspoon of mustard. Today I'm using my American mustard. You can use Dijon or French mustard, it's up to you. Now incorporate all the mixture until it's finely mixed. You want the ingredients and the mince to come together until it's a thick paste. I like to use a squeeze method because it's a nice stress relief. Now to replicate our burgers we want that consistency so I like to measure the size of my burger meat and roll them into individual balls so they're ready to cook. Next up I'm going to use a ring mold to measure the size of my bun and with this ring mold we're going to create the burger patties. This is going to make sure that the meat sits perfectly within the bun and creates that consistent Big Mac look. On top of a piece of parchment paper I like to use the ring and then add the meat inside and press down till we get an even thickness throughout. I like to go a step further and place a second piece of parchment paper on top and use something like a saucepan to flatten it out. The great thing about separating the burger meat between the two parchment papers means you can freeze the burger meat and defrost them as you like. Even thickness also means even cooking time and temperature. It gives an even more consistent product and a better tasting burger. Now we're almost ready to create our burgers. So we're going to cut our buns and from here we're going to get our saucepan nice and hot and toast them up before we place in our meat. While the saucepan is heating, we can prepare the lettuce for our burgers. We want to toast our buns to refresh them and stop the sauce soaking inside the bread. Now we're really going to bring our pan up to a high temperature and add a generous seasoning of oil. Our burgers are quite thin so we don't want to overcook them so your pan has to be really hot. Give a nice seasoning of rock sea salt. And again, if you have a burger press, I have a saucepan. This is going to create an even cooking time and stop the burger swelling up during the cooking process. Now I'm looking for moisture on the top of the meat before I flip it. And you should have a golden color like that. And remember to place your saucepan to, to stop the burger swelling up. Our burgers are very thin so I'm going to add the cheese after I've taken them out of the pan. So guys, it's time to build our burger and like in Big Mac style, we start with the sauce. Then we go lettuce on the bottom and meat on the top and continue this process with our second bun in the middle. I'm gonna let you in on a little Chef Jack secret. So we don't spread our sauce into the buns as this will allow the bun to absorb all the moisture. The pressure of the burger and the buns on top of the sauce should spread it out evenly and stop the burger bun going soggy. The last thing we want is soggy buns. As per Big Mac fashion style, I put the cheese below the meat. This is a direct copy of what you would receive if you went to Macca's. Any of these ingredients such as the buns, the burger patties or even the QP mayonnaise can be bought as a substitute from the store to save time. And there we have it guys, two lovely Big Jack burgers. I hope you can replicate this at home and I hope you can enjoy the same burgers that I'm about to now. Mm. Sorry guys. I can't stop myself. It's just so good. The sauce is like, I need more sauce. Guys, this is, you, you can't do this. You just can't do this at McDonald's. I wanted more sauce on my burger. They're not gonna give up Ronald McDonald's secret sauce in a packet. You can just add it on your burger at home. That's so good. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Oh my God. Sorry. I'm gonna have to go for a nap because I've just finished the second burger and I haven't even cleaned up. Well, that's Chef's News. This is the Big Jack and the Big Mac sauce. I hope you enjoyed every minute of it and I really hope that you use it at home. Uh, I'd look forward to hearing your feedback. And if you enjoyed it so much to leave a like, that would be great. Subscribe if you want any more videos in the future. Even leave a comment on your feedback, that would be great. So, till next time, that's Chef's News. I'll see you later. Enjoy your big chat. Mm.